Hey, what's up, everybody? Hi. S Steven Kier here with the Penguin Outdoors YouTube channel, and we're heading off to Lowe's. We got two projects going down today. The first thing we're gonna do is Kira's got an Angora bunny rabbit, and he needs some more exercise, and he needs to eat a little more food from nature and a little less food from my pocket. So we're gonna build what's called a lawn tractor for him. The other thing I'm gonna work on is I'm still getting the Hobie Outback ready for this fishing season. The weather hasn't been great here, so I haven't been able to get out on the water. And because of my surgeries, yes, with you, because of my surgeries, I haven't, uh, I got a late start on prepping. I didn't get to spend the winter just working on my kayak like I normally would and tweaking some stuff the way that I want it. So today, uh, I'm gonna build some seat risers to give the seat in the outback a couple more inches of height. Uh, one, because it'll be more comfortable, and two, because then I can put uh, storage drawers underneath of there, which is what I really want. Um, so that's what we're doing. We're heading to Lowe's. Um, we know what we have, let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life. Call us crazy, but things are finally right. You know, one of the biggest tragedies of COVID has been the increase in prices in random shit at Lowe's. Like, it's really screwing up do-it-yourself projects. So what we got here for the bunny cage is hardware cloth. And whereas these used to be like, I don't know, 9 10 a roll for these, these are $14 a roll. This is $20 a roll. It's getting crazy out here. In your seat. She's not saying in her seat. <laughs> Cage is not for that bunny. Alright y'all, the biggest tragedy of this project is is cost, plain and simple. So I'm usually about cheap do-it-yourself. Um, this one ain't cheap. So I went to Lowe's and I bought two eight-foot two-by-fours. I'm going to tell you flat out before it ends up in the comment section. I did not buy pressure treated. I, I don't, for this particular project, I just simply don't care. So I bought two eight foot two by fours. They were like $10 a piece. So there's 20 bucks. I bought one three foot wide by 10 foot long thing of uh, quarter inch hardware cloth, or I'm sorry, half inch hardware cloth because they didn't have it in quarter inch. Um, that was like $20. Then I bought three rolls of two foot wide by 10 foot long, uh, three rolls. Did I say two? I don't remember. I bought three rolls of two foot wide by 10 foot long quarter inch hardware cloth. Those were 14 bucks a piece. And a box, a, a box of cheap exterior wood screws, that was like $10. So it was like just under $90 after tax and everything. And to be honest, this project, if somebody didn't have any of the stuff and they went and bought everything would cost a lot more because I already have the majority of the two by fours. There's like five other two by fours involved in this equation. Um, there's four six footers for the main part of the frame. And then there's one that's being cut up some for support. I mean, it, it's a whole thing. So what I'm saying here is this is not a, a cheap project. I invested almost $90 into it and I already had a lot of the stuff including the staples for the hardware fence. So this isn't my typical do-it-yourself because I'm all about cheap, but this is a necessary project for us and specifically for this damn rabbit. So we're going to get that done. So let's get into it. Yeah, I'm going to get this. 
tweet saying, no, they're looking at JD and maybe he is kind of handsome. You know what I mean? We're, we're, there's, it's not all bad. I mean, there are good video scores can help them too. Ready. As bad as things are for you, they're better for JD. Good, happy for JD. Let's go to... Was Frank taking him on the road and doing shit? <laughs> Oh, wait a minute. See, this is why I don't build stuff, because I was about to start cursing and yelling, because I thought I measured five foot instead of three, but I didn't, I just measured the wrong one. This is why I don't build. That's the problem. All right, two more to go and then we can wrap the thing in the fencing and we're done. Okay, so run around and yep. trade. I have 10 snips that'll cut it, but I'll probably just keep going and then make the most out of it I can. Oh yeah, kind of do like a circle. Yeah. All right, y'all, the cameras died on me and I'm not really sure where, so I'm just gonna kind of recap. <laughs> Let me flip this thing around. So, as it normally does with my do-it-yourself projects, the uh, plan, there's the plan and then there's what like really happens. So for the most part, it happened um, okay. The overall width somehow ended up being a little more than 36 inches, which was 
probably obvious to like just about everybody watching this except for me. So I couldn't quite secure the hardware cloth on the other side um, the right way. Um, I didn't want to waste any more two by fours invested into this. So I took like a couple of the scrap parts, just kind of made it so I could link up the top. Like he's not going to jump out. I'll secure that spot a little better and like I'll secure this up a little bit, but he's not getting out. So I made the hole from the mesh. And what I'll do is I'll get rid of these sharp edges and hammer this down. And then this board here is going to sit on top and then I'm going to get him set up with a water source and he's pretty much going to be good to go. So it's not quite done yet. And I'll take a final spin here uh, when he's chilling in it, but I think we're, I think we're pretty good. Well, we hoped you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more great videos from the Penguin Outdoors YouTube channel, don't forget to click subscribe. And while you're at it, hit that little bell so you get notified when new content is available. Please leave us a comment down below and let us know what you thought. And don't forget to hit that like button. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.